good morning dear students uh, today's class is going to be about the characteristics of uh, entrepreneur in our previous class you have learned who an entrepreneur is and also we have discussed about various definitions given by peter f drucker cantillon and also as per the american heritage dictionary so to begin with the characteristics of an entrepreneur the first and foremost we have is innovation innovation is a very important characteristic of an entrepreneur uh, dear students uh, in today's uh, modern uh, business because he is the one who has to uh, who actually basically looks to it that uh, his business is successful so for that he tries to introduce new ideas new methods and uh, this introduction of something new is called as innovation like uh, he tries to do things or uh, uh, the things which are being done in a new way that is bringing change in the method and why does he wants to bring the change in method so that the production can be done as planned and uh, the company's objective is achieved production here means again uh, making of a product so when the entrepreneur is trying to do the production he tries to uh, so he tries that the cost of production is reduced as much as possible and where uh, the product is uh, again an outcome of uh, the best quality that they can provide in the market so that is what basically innovation is about innovation means uh, entrepreneur uh, in simple words i would say that an entrepreneur should be very creative and uh, he should be uh, updated with the technological advancements where he can uh, put uh, his new ideas methods in the working of his enterprise uh, to take it uh, towards uh, being uh, one of the successful businesses in the market so that is about uh, the innovation uh, the next we have uh, is uh, risk taking risk taking is again uh, another important characteristic of uh, any entrepreneur because business is all about uh, either making profit or loss and uh, till uh, we by the end of the year we come to know whether it's going to make profit or loss there is no uh, guarantee to it and that is why it is called as a, a risk taking uh, part on the part of the a uh, businessman so that is what it is said the richard cantillon he says that an entrepreneur he is an agent where he is producing the product and uh, he is going to sell it in the market for an uncertain price not knowing whether he is going to make profit or loss whether he'll be rewarded or he'll have to suffer for the work that he has done but in case if uh, the entrepreneur makes loss if yet he has to pay all the factors of production so like uh, paying uh, the go down rent or let us say rent for the building uh, or uh, paying off his creditors and uh, so on so that is about risk taking next we have is organization of production organization of production means here uh, when the entrepreneur is um, organizing because he is running the business he'll have to see that the production process Uh, the one which he selects should be the most suitable one uh, which suits his uh, production of the uh, product or the item whatever he is planning to produce for that he'll have to make all the arrangements the required arrangements it could be land or the labor which is involved or the capital which is being invested the raw material machinery furniture and uh, so on so an entrepreneur has to be really good in organizing all uh, these necessary requirements for the production so that is what basically the organization speak uh, about all this production next we have is uh, decision making and uh, an entrepreneur should be really good at decision making because in day to day working of his company he'll have to take decisions every now and then he they should be very quick in making decision and it comes only through the experience and knowledge which they uh, possess uh, so uh, basically these decision it could be regarding anything uh, on totality it will be about the management and coordinating various resources which are required for the working of the business so that is about decision making next we have is uh, leadership so here the entrepreneur is a person who organizes uh, whatever requirement is there in the business then he directs 
that it is done on time and he commands how to get the work done and he controls while the work is being done so there comes his leadership quality his personality uh, will be influencing his subordinates so they will take him as a role model so uh, he should have uh, uh, the qualities with which the employees uh, will praise and appreciate him so basically he is a guide to them to his subordinates and the employees working with then he counsels motivates them so basically he is an ex- he should be an excellent leader he should have these leadership qualities only then the aims objectives or the goals of business can be achieved quickly and effectively so that was about the leadership the next we have as planning an entrepreneur has to be really good at making plans because uh, the plans will actually take uh, the work further so he should know what to do when to do how to do it who will do that particular task so here when we are talking about planning an entrepreneur not only plans about the products but also the markets once the product is uh, ready where to sell them and also he should be uh, planning really well the delegation of duties and responsibilities uh, and um, also see to it that whatever planning is going on it has to be as per the um, rules and regulations of the industrial policy so that was about planning dear students next we have hard work without hard work actually nothing uh, uh, can be rewarded so an entrepreneur is said to uh, be a very hard working person so uh, these successful uh, entrepreneurs uh, are distinguished from the unsuccessful entrepreneurs uh, just because of their willingness to do work because of the their hard work uh, they revive we have we have uh, seen many entrepreneurs earlier and uh, the project also which you have done dear students it's beautiful and uh, i can say all many of them they have revived their business enterprises when they were at the extent of uh, uh, extension back to life so one of the qualities again of an entrepreneur is they should be very hard working because laziness is never ever rewarded next we have desire for high achievement an entrepreneur they always aim high uh, they overcome various obstacles uh, and uh, they they make whatever changes the measures the methods are to be taken up so that they can reach their goals and the next we have is highly optimistic they are very pessimistic or they are very positive in their outlook and they are not disturbed because of the problems they just try to overcome them and keep going ahead to reach their goals which they have set at a high standards next we have independence these uh, entrepreneurs they don't like to be guided by others rather than taking their own decisions and uh, taking the business further so this is one of the characteristics of an entrepreneur again and the last one we have is foresight foresight means forecasting these uh, future business env- environment these entrepreneurs can forecast really well so they can visualize that uh, there could be likely the changes uh, it could be related to the market or the consumer attitude or any technological development so that accordingly they can take actions and make the improvements in their business and be a successful entrepreneur with uh, running very successfully the business enterprise so these were the various characteristics of an entrepreneur thank you for listening to today's class